It's Andrew with Advanced Turf Care. Just wanted to share with you a quick video uh, on a subject that's been really, really problematic this particular year, and that is white grubs. White grubs are the what eventually is going to turn into a Japanese beetle. And so I found a graphic here on YouTube from the Penn State Extension Service that provides some really good um, visuals as to how these grubs work in the soil profile and what they're doing. So wanted to just take a minute to explain this to you. So we'll move through the calendar year starting in January. These grubs are very deep in the soil profile. They're not really doing a whole lot other than just kind of growing and hibernating. As the weather starts to warm, they're going to start rising to the surface level. And eventually they're going to change forms into a uh, Japanese beetle. If you've ever heard the term June bug, uh, that's what we're talking about. And then they'll come up out of the ground and uh, maybe cause some damage to some plant material that's above ground. And then eventually what they're going to do is they're going to come back down and they're going to start to lay eggs so that it can continue this life cycle into next year. Um, when they lay eggs, these Japanese beetles are a lot smarter than we probably give them credit for. They look for really, really nice looking, healthy, lush lawns. Why? Number one is because it provides good protection for these eggs as they begin to hatch. And then number two is because that lawn is so healthy and nice, it's going to have plenty of roots that these grubs can eat. So these roots are the grub's food source. And you can see here as they come back shallow into the soil profile after they hatch, they're going to begin to feed on these roots. And so what will happen is you'll notice some really soft areas as you walk over your lawn, almost as if it's wet or you're walking on a sponge. And that's generally a telltale indication that you've got a white grub population and they're eating these roots. If you were to reach down and, and pull up on your grass, you would find that it would come up very, very easily. And you may even actually find a, a, a grub or two. Um, this is uh, brings me to the next point. There's two really good time periods to treat for grubs. Number one would be June and July. While they're very, very young, it's just not very difficult for an insecticide to go ahead and kill an egg. And then also here in the current time period of September, October, while they're still shallow in the soil profile, meaning that that insecticide won't have to penetrate as deeply. Now, as I said, this year, for whatever reason, we're not exactly sure why, these grubs have been a tremendous, tremendous problem. Just about every single lawn that I've been on to do airing and seeding has had a grub infestation. So I'm highly, highly, highly recommending that you have an insecticide treatment done and please reach out to us for an estimate for that. Um, we're going to be making ourselves available because we kind of see this as a, as a big problem going into next year. Unfortunately, this is not something that we can kind of just will hope and go will go away and maybe these will die over the winter time. Generally speaking, when I come onto a lawn that has had a grub issue, it takes some aggressive treatments to really get that into check. So I hope this makes a little bit more sense to you as to what grubs are, what they do, and why they're detrimental to uh, your lawn is because they're feeding on the roots. And um, obviously, that's not what we want for our lawn. Um, please, please, please reach out to us for an estimate. We really, really think it's a great idea that you, uh, you would have some treatment done to your lawn this year. If you have any questions, please let us know as well. Hope this helps. Thanks. Have a great day.